hey guys assalamu alaikum so today i am back with another video guess what we're formulating today one of my favorite hair care products which is deep conditioner and in this case we are making the intensive hydration and restorative mask with hibiscus ambunu baobab and black seeds this is a hydrating and replenishing deep conditioner you know what let's just get into the video we are making a 900 gram batch so we are starting off with the water phase and into my glass beaker i have already added distilled water 600 ml panthenol powder and hec powder this is a water-based product which explains why we're using so much of the distilled water and as you know distilled water is the most purified form of water and it is always crucial to start off with a purified and stable base HEC is a 100% natural and organic thickening agent that ensures the product spreads evenly and smoothly across your hair. It's also an excellent moisturizer and enhances the overall quality of your product. Disodium Eta stabilizes the product and prevents discoloration and spoilage. It is also an antioxidant. Next in we add Cetrimonium Chloride, which is an excellent conditioner with anti-static, anti-frizz and detangling properties. It also has emulsifying properties which are effective for softening coarse hair and has mild antimicrobial properties. Our next important ingredient is Panthenol Powder aka Pro Vitamin B5. It is a natural constituent of healthy hair and a substance present in all living things. It has excellent moisturizing properties and maintains elasticity while softening the hair and skin. We then give everything in our beaker a mix to break things up and let them start familiarizing with each other before we go on to our last two ingredients. Which make up a slurry and a slurry is basically a combination of guar gum and glycerin. Where the glycerin which acts as a humectant hydrates the guar gum which is a thickener and a conditioner thereby allowing it to activate faster once the slurry achieves a smooth consistency like this you can pour it into the water phase which i did give it a mix and you'll see it instantly thickens then you can keep that mixture aside while we move on to our next phase which of course is the oil phase for this phase, we're going to be adding BTMS50, citel alcohol, citril alcohol, carrot oil, castor oil, and shea butter. First off, we have citel alcohol. It's a fatty alcohol having great moisturizing properties. Next up, we are adding BTMS50, which is a conditioning emulsifier. It is extremely mild and very suitable for any and all conditioning products such as this. BTMS50 is truly a game changer. That's why I love this ingredient so much. Citral alcohol is also a fatty alcohol that softens your hair and stabilizes the formulation. Shea butter, Mama Africa's gift to humanity. As we all know, shea butter has so many benefits, so many qualities. It heals skin infections, relieves itchiness, heals dry skin, locks in moisture, heals kata. We could go on and on. It's no wonder that our grandmothers did not joke with shea butter. Incoming carrot oil. It increases hair growth, eliminates hair loss, treats dandruff and dry scalp whilst maintaining moisture levels in the hair and scalp. Last but not least, we have coconut oil. It is one of nature's miracle oils. It easily absorbs into the hair, makes it darker while moisturizing, strengthening, and adding elasticity to the strands. Can you remember when coconut oil was the it oil a few years back? Our oil phase is now complete and ready for heating. After several minutes of heating and melting, this is what our oil phase and our washer phase look like. They're still really hot as you can see, so it's important to be careful. And while it's still piping hot, pour the oil phase into the water phase. And this leads us to the longest step of this entire process, which is blending. You start off by blending immediately after you have combined both phases, just so they don't start clumping up or giving undesired results. Make sure you give it a very good mix going all the way down, all around. 
so you don't miss anything. Considering this is a 900 gram batch of deep conditioner, it may require a lot more time and effort to blend this up than let's say if it was a 200 gram or a 300 gram batch. And also I should state that you should keep coming back to blend it up as it cools down because the more it cools down the thicker it gets and subsequently the harder it is to blend so you have to keep coming back let's say every 30 to 45 minutes to blend it some more don't worry I know what you're thinking this is so thick <laughs> but we'll keep going and you will see what it looked like at the end this is all part of the process so now that it has cooled down significantly it is time to add in our natural herbs and these herbs are none other than Ambunu, the Chadian woman's detangling secret, hibiscus, which has strengthening properties, baobab, which is Africa's tree of life, flaxseed, which adds elasticity and shine, moringa, which nourishes and replenishes, and lastly cloves, which stimulate hair growth. Once all of these herbs have been added successfully, we go on another blending marathon. This blending process actually helps the formulation to cool down faster. Did I mention that earlier? Anyways, now is the time to add our aloe vera juice. Aloe vera, Cleopatra's beauty secret as they say. And if you've been with me for a while, you know how much I love and appreciate aloe vera in all its forms. That's why I always try to sneak it into each and every single one of my formulations because the difference is just there. And excuse my clumsiness, just look at how I spilled aloe vera juice all over the counter. <laughs> I was just so focused on the deep conditioner, I didn't even notice. Anywho, now we move on to our last phase, which is the cool down phase. These ingredients are temperature sensitive, so always ensure that the formulation has cooled down to room temperature before you add them. Even though I've already added the aloe vera juice shell. First, we have vitamin E acetate which not only prevents the oils in this formulation from going rancid but also mimics the one we already have in our skin and hair preservative is non-optional and non-negotiable so i'm using germal plus in this and i added about one percent of the total weight of the deep conditioner i am also adding hydrolyzed silk protein to help strengthen your strands and repair the damages to the hair follicles and then my favorite part adding the fragrance hi you know what i think fragrances do to cosmetic products have you ever heard that i've seen beauty before but this this is a revelation <laughs> if you've heard that before that's exactly how i feel about fragrances honestly kai god bless fragrances and now it is time to add in all of those things into our deep conditioner and go ahead and continue to blend for Africa blendo blendo blendito blendo <laughs> I think you mind me I told you this blending process is a very long process so you have to be entertaining yourself while you do it also, do you see the difference now, once again, between this consistency, this texture, how fluffy it looks compared to when we first started it while it was still piping hot? So anyways, let me just do a very short motivational speech while this blending is going on in the background. Because I have run out of things to say. <laughs> all the explanations, all the bayani. I don't talk waiting, I want talk and the blending is still going on so let's do a little bit of motivational talking so it's not about starting the business it's not about buying the tools the equipment and uh, the ingredients and all the other necessary stuff it's also about marketing for me i think marketing has been the number one most difficult thing in the whole entire process because marketing is a never-ending thing you have to market every single day otherwise nobody will remember you nobody will remember you exist nobody will remember your products yay piping time my other favorite part of this whole entire process just look at how 
the deep conditioner is oozing gracefully into the jar i love this jar i love the shape i love the size i fell in love the moment i saw it i don't even think i had started this business when i saw this jar but i was like look no matter what no matter who no matter where i must find a product that i will make that shall use this jar inshallah and alhamdulillah i was able to do it so anyways like here just just look i even slowed it down for you just look Just look, just look at the silkiness, the smoothiness, the lusciousness. Look at those tiny little specks. Wow. Anyway, so as I was saying, marketing has not been easy for me. What has been your most difficult part of your business, running your business, keeping it afloat? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. And now the final part is sticking on the label. I'll tell you another time how difficult it was also to find labels. To find... Ah, I'll just not even say anything. I'll just tell you everything in a future video, inshallah. By the way, I'm in the process of designing another label since this one doesn't really stick well onto the jar considering the jar is like oval shaped, it's bottom heavy. So that's why there are all these creaks and, and unevenness when it comes to the label sticking onto the jar. I'll have to look for an, an uneven shape that will easily stick and smoothen onto this jar inshallah. So, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a lot from it. Um, if you're thinking of starting your own business, well, all the best. I wish you 100% success in your business. And also, if you'd like to place orders for uh, this intensive hydration and restorative mask, you could send me a DM on Antia Lash at uh, Instagram and we'll get to talking inshallah yeah so how do you like it just how <laughs> i'm so proud of this i love it <laughs> i think don't mind me i just feel like all these products are my babies the so. end